So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another item. All right. Um, let's let's see. If we have the basic insert here, so that way we don't repeat this data. Let's go and do the basic insert number one right here. Cool. So let's go and basic enter and refresh. That way we can have some data there. We have different data, right? And the deleted is no, as you can see there. So now let's say I want to pull this information, just like I was telling you in the last lecture, that it won't allow me to do that. So I'm going to do read of delete. I'm going to actually right here. All right, so I'm going to try to find the post with ID number one and pull it out and return it. Watch what it does. All right, let's do this. Enter. You see it's blank, all right? It won't show me anything because now we have to tell Laravel that I want to pull the one items that are deleted as well, right? So to do that, what we need to do, and I'm going to comment this out so that way when I give you the file, you have it. But I want you to write it down with me, okay? So we write this down. We say with trash. We use this method, okay? And the where statement, where ID, let's say, equals 1. And then we do get. All right? So now... We can go and do that. And then we return it. Return post. All right. Now, if I click it, you can see the object. All right. Not only can you see the this object right here. Look at that. Content created and updated. All right. You see, you see everything about that object. All right. ID number one. Okay. Now, if you only want to pull out. All right. Right now, this has how many? Only one object that's deleted, right? But let's say, for example, we delete the number two. Let's delete that one. Watch this. All right, we deleted that one. Come back here. We see we got two timestamps right there. And now we go and read it. Watch this. Oops. Oops. I was mistaking. It just pulls out the ones that are deleted. Okay. All right. So let's use the other method to pull out the only ones that are deleted. Okay. So let's use another method re real quick. And I'll show you right now. I'm going to comment this out. Sometimes when uh, you want to know certain things, you go to the documentation. They got Laravel has so many methods. It's just crazy to learn everything in one, in one you know, zip. And they come out with different ones all the time. So only trash items. All right. All right. This one should work. And it should not make me look bad. All right. So enter. Oops. There we go. Enter. Oh no, only trash items. It was supposed to get something back, I tell you. Hmm. Let's just try a different is admin equals zero. Okay. Let's do that. And actually, of course, if we don't have the return post, we won't be able to see anything, guys. Come on. There we go. All right. There we go. Now we got the two items here. And the, with the ID, we, we should only get one back. All right. 
so make sure that you have a, a column that is applicable for both uh, objects that you want to return okay so I'm gonna leave it with is admin zero there we go so we can return everything there all right so there you have it that's how we can solve the lead some items bring them back from the database and now not only can you bring the only trash item but you can also and this is what happened here okay we can also bring all the items including the ones that are not trash with this here so thank you so much for watching this lecture i know this was long but it was worth it